shoulders and the upper back areas that are commonly very tight amongst most of us. So we are going to start in a lying down position. Okay, so come lying down on the back with me. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees apart, lower down all the way, and drop the knees towards the sides. You can reach your arms over your head like this, grab hold onto opposite elbows, or just place your hands on top of each other. Or if this doesn't feel comfortable for you today, you can bring your arms alongside your body and just rest your arms. Okay, so take the version that feels best for you. Okay, then very gently close your eyes. If closing the eyes doesn't feel too good this morning for whatever reason, just allow the eyes to be soft. Keep your eyes half open. And just for the next few breaths, slow your breath down. And see if you can breathe into your belly. As you inhale, let the belly rise. And as you exhale, let the belly fall. Inhale, let the belly rise. Exhale, let the belly fall. Just about three more breaths. Inhale. Slow exhale. Soften your skin. Inhale. Create more space in your body. Exhale. Allow your entire body to melt. One more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Soften any tension in your legs in your torso, in your shoulders, in your fingers. Keep breathing normally and naturally. And slowly bring your knees in towards each other. You can use your hands to help you. Feel free to keep your eyes closed if you prefer. And pull your right knee into your chest. Interlace all 10 fingers above your right shin. You can keep your left knee bent or you can straighten up your left leg towards the front of your space. Okay, interlace all 10 fingers and use your hands to pull your right knee as close to your right shoulder as you can. And breathe into the hips. You should feel the stretch in your hips. And use your right hand. Use your hands to pull your right knee as close towards you as you can for three. Breathe through your nose for two. One more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Okay, keep the right knee close to your chest. Lift the right foot up towards the sky and use your right hand to grab hold onto the outer edges of the right foot. Half happy baby. You can use your left hand to guide your left hip down towards the ground and use your right arm to pull. Pull the right knee as close to the ground as you can. Okay, just be mindful that this is your first stretch in the morning. So if you can't go that low, it's fine. Or if you need to hold onto the ankle and this feels better for you, please feel free to do that. Okay, take care of your body. Whenever something feels not right or you feel like there's uh, any pain in your body, just let go of my instructions and do whatever that feels good for you. And just one more breath in half happy baby, deep inhale. And long exhale. Feel free to just keep the eyes closed. Good, then slowly bend your right knee more. Use your left hand to hold onto the outer edges of the right knee and pull your right knee across your body towards the left side. Reach your right arm towards the right side of your space and allow yourself to roll onto the outer edges of the left hip. So you're going to nice twist. Roll the right shoulder down even more. Look over the right shoulder. And just be mindful of what you are feeling in your body. This is a twist. So if you don't feel much in your spine from your upper back down towards your lower back, you can use more strength with your left hand and pull your right knee closer towards the ground. You take one more deep inhale through your nose and slow exhale out from your nose. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. We repeat the same thing on the left side. Straighten up the right knee. Pull your left knee into your chest. Interlace all 10 fingers above your left shin and pull. Okay, press the right thigh down to the ground. Okay, again, if you prefer to keep your right knee bent, feel free to keep the right knee bent. That's perfectly okay as well. Okay, use your arms to pull. Feel the stretch in your hips. Breathe in and out through your nose for three. Try to breathe into your belly for two. One more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. 
Okay, half happy baby. Float the left foot higher. Use your left hand to grab hold onto the outer edges of the left foot and pull. You can use your right hand to guide your right hip down towards the ground. Okay, make sure you don't start bending your right knee too much. Press the right thigh down. Press the right hip down. Okay, relax your shoulders. So you can use your arm to pull, but try not to lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Okay, pull both shoulders down and away from your ears. Press your shoulders down towards the mat. Breathe into your hips. Just one more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Okay, good. And slowly bend your left knee again. Use your right hand to grab hold to the outer edges of the left knee and roll yourself onto the right side. Twist. Reach your left arm towards the side of your space. Keep using your right hand to pull. The more you pull with your right hand and the more you press down with your left arm, the more intense the twist will get. Okay, so you adjust based on how you are feeling this morning. If you want it a bit deeper, you can use your right hand to pull more. If you find it's too intense, just back off. Okay, just one more breath. Inhale. And long exhale. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Okay, good. Place both feet down onto the ground. Point both knees up towards the sky. Bring your arms alongside the body. And we're going to simultaneously lift the hips and reach your arms over your head at the same time. Okay, press down into your feet. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms up and over your head. Bridge pose. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs towards each other. So you really engage the legs and lift the chest. Feel the stretch in the front of your thighs in your quads and in the front of your hips, in your hip flexors. As you exhale, lower all the way down. Come back the same way, lower the hips, lower the hands, try to touch down at the same time. Two more rounds, just like this. Inhale, lift the hips, reach your arms up and over your head. Breathe into your front body, feel the stretch in your front body, lift the chest. Exhale, lower yourselves all the way down towards the ground. Hips down, hands down, one final round. Inhale, lift the hips, press down into your feet, lift Lift the chest, try to touch down and lift at the same time. Good, exhale, lower yourselves all the way down onto the mat. Good, pull both knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Grab hold onto opposite elbows if it's available to you. Otherwise, just grab hold onto opposite forearms like this. Okay, then rock yourself from side to side, side to side, massage your back and massage your spine. It's super nice to stretch in the morning, especially in the shoulders and the upper back. That's where we hold a lot of tension. Okay, slowly come back to the center. Grab hold onto the back of your thighs. Rock and roll front and back a few times. Rock forward, rock back. Then on your third rock, come up into a sit cross at your ankles. Place your hands in front. Come into all fours, hands and knees. Tabletop position. And spread your fingers really wide. Open up the palms. You can point the toes back. Take a deep inhale. Lift the chest. Arch your back. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Tailbone up to the sky. Feel the back bend. Exhale, round. Down the spine. Draw the belly in. Push down into your hands. Feel the stretch along your upper back. Press down strongly into your fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest. Arch your back. Look up. Draw the shoulders back and down. Chin up. Exhale, round the spine. So really empty out your lungs. Exhale fully. Inhale, lift the chest. Try to breathe in and out through your nose. That will help you to relax a lot faster. Exhale, round the spine. Draw the belly in. Push down into your hands. Press the upper back towards the sky. Just two more rounds together. Inhale, lift the chest. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale, round the spine. Empty out the lungs. Slow, long breaths. Deep inhale. One final round. Lift the chest. Arch the back. Look up. Exhale, round the spine. Draw the belly in. Push down into your hands. Come back to neutral spine on your inhale. Good. Place your right hand behind your right ear. Then without moving the hips, you can tuck the toes to help you to stabilize the hips. Point the right elbow up towards the sky. Try to turn your chest towards the right side as much as you can. Okay, exhale. Bring your right elbow to touch your left arm. Bend your left elbow if you need to and touch. Okay, inhale. Come back up again. Right elbow points up to the sky. Look over the right shoulder. Exhale. Right elbow, touch the left thumb. Good. Inhale, right arm goes up to the sky. Let's do three more rounds. Exhale, right elbow, touch the left thumb. Good. Inhale, right elbow goes up to the sky. Twist. Exhale, right elbow, touch down on the left thumb. One last round. Inhale, right elbow goes up. Twist. 
Exhale, right elbow, touch the left thumb. Pause here. This time we cross the right hand over towards the left side. Rest the right ear and the right shoulder down onto the ground. Okay, you can do what I'm doing. Just use the left hand to press and roll the left shoulder back. Okay, and twist. Oh, my spine just cracked. If tuck the toes under, stabilize the hips. If you want to go deeper, you can walk your left hand to the front of the mat. That is fine as well. Okay, keep pulling the left shoulder back. Breathe into your upper back. And yeah, make sure that you have equal weight in both knees so you're not collapsing the hips to one side. Push the hips more towards the right. Okay, let's just take two more breaths here. Inhale deeply, slow your breath. Slow, long, deep breath. And exhale fully. Good, one more breath. Deep inhale. And slow exhale. Good, slowly place your right palm in front of your face again and untwist the same way. Inhale, right arm goes up to the sky. Exhale, place your right hand down onto the mat. Same thing on the left side. Place your left hand behind your left ear without moving the hips. Point the left elbow up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the left elbow to touch your right fingers. Same thing, bend your right knee, right elbow. Inhale, left elbow goes up to the sky, twist. Exhale, left elbow, touch the right thumb. Maybe bend your right elbow to help you. Inhale, left elbow goes all the way up. Twist. Exhale, left elbow, touch the right thumb. We have two more rounds. Inhale, left elbow goes up. Twist. Exhale, left elbow, touch down onto the thumb. One last round. Inhale, left elbow goes up. You should be feeling in the upper back. Exhale, left elbow, touch the right thumb. Pause. This time we thread the left arm across. Left shoulder, left ear on the ground. Press down your right hand. Roll the right shoulder back. Feel the nice twist in your upper back. And maybe stay or walk your right hand towards the front of your space. Okay, make sure you're not shifting the weight to the right. Shift your hips back towards the middle. More weight on your left knee. Tuck the toes. Make sure your hips are aligned. Take just two more deep breaths. Deep inhale. And slow exhale. So nice to take deep breaths in the morning. One more breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. And slowly place the right palm in front of your face and untwist. Inhale, left arm goes all the way up to the sky. Exhale, place your left hand down onto the ground. Okay, take a deep inhale, lift the chest, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, stretch out the back. One more round. Inhale, lift the chest, arch the back. Okay, this time we hold here. Keep your hips above your knees and walk your hands all the way forward. You have a few options here. Easy option, forehead comes down. The second option, lift your chin and rest your chin down onto the mat. You know, melt your chest towards the ground. Try to bring your chest as close to the ground as you can. Okay, and breathe into your shoulders, breathe into your upper back. It should feel pretty nice for, for most of us. Keep sinking your chest down towards the ground. If it feels too intense, remember you can always back off, rest your forehead down onto the ground instead. Okay, just two more deep breaths. Inhale, breathe deeply. And exhale completely. One more breath, inhale. And slow exhale. Okay, good. Slowly lie yourself all the way down onto your belly. Slide yourself forward. Lie down on your belly. Place your hands underneath your shoulders and bring your feet as close together as you can. If you have any back issues, just bring the feet slightly apart. Okay, press out into your palms. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift your chin. Just a baby cobra. Your belly can stay down onto the ground. But if you feel pretty open this morning, you can come up a little bit higher. Pull the shoulders back and down away from your ears. So you have plenty of space in your collarbones. Plenty of space in your front body to breathe. Okay, look up towards the sky if your neck feels okay. As you exhale, slowly lower yourselves all the way down onto the ground. Let's go for two more rounds like this. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift your chin, breathe in, draw the belly in, squeeze your glutes, maybe look up. Exhale, lower yourselves all the way down onto the ground. One final one. Inhale, lift the chest, lift your chin. Remember to breathe. Press down into your palms, look up. Then lift your hips, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Exhale, reach your heels towards the ground. For your first down dog this morning, let's take some time to paddle out the legs. Reach one heel down to the ground and then the other heel. 
And maybe spin the heels from side to side. So you align your feet, point all 10 toes to the left side and come back to the middle. And exhale, spin the heels towards the left. And keep going at your own pace. When you do this, you should feel the stretch in the side body. So when I spin my heels towards the right side, the left side body stretches. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale towards the left side. Feel the stretch in the right side body. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. One last round. Exhale to the right side. Inhale to the center. Exhale towards the left side. Good. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Lean forward, shoulders above your wrists, heels above your toes, plank pose. Grip the mat with your fingers, squeeze your thighs towards the midline. Push down into your hands, take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, lower your knees down onto the ground. Inhale, lift the chest, arch your back, look up. Shift your entire body forward, then slowly bend your elbows, wrap the elbows in, lower the chest in between your palms. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. First option, stay here. Second option, interlace your fingers behind your lower back. Squeeze your shoulder blades and reach your arms up and over your hip. Okay, either stay or maybe bend your knees and bring your heels to your mum. Okay, keep squeezing the shoulder blades, breathe for three. Okay, staying in the first option works as well. Okay, breathe for two, just one more breath, inhale. Good. Slowly point your toes back, slide yourself forward, lie down onto your belly. Push down into your palms, cobra. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift your chin, draw the shoulders back, maybe straighten up the elbows this time. Squeeze the shoulder blades, maybe look up. Lift your hips up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Exhale, heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And slow exhalation out. Inhale, lift your heels high, bend your knees, look in between your palms, either step, walk or float to the front of your mat. Separate your feet, hip distance apart, so all 10 toes point forward. Bend your knees slightly, rest your belly on your thighs, hang your head. Either grab hold onto your el opposite elbows, allow the head to hang, allow the elbows to hang, sway yourself from side to side. Or you can bring your hands behind your lower back, interlace all 10 fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades in and reach your arms up and over over your head. Okay, one more stretch before we take a short break. Okay, just one more breath here. Deep inhale. And slow exhale. Good. Slowly release your hands down onto the ground. Take a halfway lift. Fingertips either on your shins or on the mat. Flat back. Inhale. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Place your hands down onto the ground. Just lower down onto your knees. Right knee, left knee. Sit back onto your heels. Take child's pose. Walk your hands forward. Rest your forehead on the mat. And take a water break if you need to or just stay in child's pose for the next one minute. I will see you on the mat in a minute. I love how this rush gear makes me feel. Every time I put it on, I feel super powerful. My training is super intense, so I need something like this that's gonna make me feel strong and ready to go. From child's pose, slowly lift your hips, tuck your toes, walk your feet to the front of your mat. Let's meet up in a forward fold and hang your head, bend your knees slightly and slowly roll yourselves all the way up in five, like a ragdoll, four, three, don't hold your breath, remember to breathe, two, 
Head comes up last, and once you're up, inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky, lift the chest, maybe lean back, go for a gentle back bend, look up. Hinge from your hips, exhale, forward fold, bring your hands all the way down, relax your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, lengthen the spine, chest forward, straight back. Exhale, slide the hands down, step the right leg, big step back. And slowly lower the right knee down onto the ground. If you need more support, feel free to tuck on the back toes. Otherwise, relax the back toes. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. We'll start to stretch the shoulders even more. Press down your front foot. Extend your arms up towards the sky. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Square your hips. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades in towards each other. So do it very intentionally. Don't just hang your arms. Really squeeze your shoulder blades. Push down into your front foot. Lift the chest and maybe go for a little back bend. Okay, come back up again, inhale, both arms go up to the sky, lift the chest. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms, squeeze your shoulder blades, feel the opening in the shoulders and the front body. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, one final round. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms, lift the chest, push down through the front foot, feel the stretch in the front of your right thigh for three. Hold here, but breathe for two, one more breath, inhale. Exhale slowly, place your right palm down onto the ground. Reach your left arm behind you towards the back of the space. You can either stay here if you already feel quite a bit of stretch. If you want a bit more, you can bend your back knee and grab hold onto the back foot. Okay, for this round, let's pull the heel to the bum. Okay, I'll give you another option later to kick the foot, okay? But for this round, let's just pull the heel to the bum. Pull your heel as close to your bum as you can and sink your hips down. Okay, you should feel the stretch in the front of your right thigh, the quads. Okay, Okay, you can either stay here or if you feel like you have plenty of space in your body today, you can see if you can lower onto the right elbow and use your right hand to grab hold onto your left ankle. Use your left hand to pull your back heel towards you and keep rolling the left shoulder back. Let's just take one more breath here. Inhale deeply and exhale fully. Okay, slowly release the back foot. Try not to slingshot it back. Slowly lower it down. Place your left palm down, right palm down onto the ground. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee off the ground. Press into your hands. See if you can step straight back into plank. So left leg goes all the way back. Try not to move the shoulders. And make sure your feet are far away from your hands so you're not stepping too far forward and resting the heel down. Okay, really step back. Straighten up your knees. Squeeze your thighs, shoulders and hips in one straight line. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Lower your knees, chest and chin down onto the ground. Arch your back, exhale, bend the elbows, knees, chest, chin. Squeeze the shoulder blades, same options, maybe stay. Maybe interlace the fingers behind you, maybe bend both knees for three. Squeeze your heels to your bum, breathe for two. Lift your arms up higher and exhale, lower the feet, lower the hands, press into your palms, point the toes back, slide forward, inhale, cobra. Any version of your choice, come up as high as you like. Lift the chest, maybe look up. Lift your hips, downward facing dog, exhale, heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose and slow exhalation out. Bring your feet together, heels, toes, touch. Right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Okay, straighten up the right knee for this round. It doesn't matter whether your hips are open or not, but I want you to straighten up the right leg. So be very mindful of what's happening in your knee. Straighten it as much as you can and root down to your left heel, the bottom heel. So you really feel that stretch in the left hamstrings. The more you lift the right leg up higher, the deeper the stretch will be. Take one more breath, inhale deeply. Exhale, pull your right knee into your chest, round the spine, shift your shoulders forward so your shoulders stack right above your wrist. Push into your hands, draw the belly in, look in between your palms and step the right foot in between your hands really lightly. Good, lower the left knee down onto the ground. Again, you can tuck the back toes or you can point the toes back up to you. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, lift the chest, maybe look up towards your thumbs. Push down into your front foot, square the hips, pull the right hip back, left hip forward. If for this round, we open up the arms towards the sides, reach your right hand forward, left arm back, twist towards your left. Make a big circle with the left hand, so your left hand continues to go down, inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, maybe a little gentle back bend. Exhale, open towards the left side, twist, gaze towards the left arm if you can, big circle with the left hand, inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, lift the chest, look up, one final round, exhale, twist towards the left side, look over the left shoulder, you can stay here, option one. Option two, place your your left hand on your left calf, maybe walk your left hand back, reach your right arm up and over your head. 
Okay, doesn't matter what you look like right now, focus more on how you are feeling. How are you feeling in your hips? How are you feeling in your shoulders? How are you feeling in your spine? Okay, the lower back especially. If you feel it in the lower back, try to draw the belly in more, lift your chest more. Okay, just one more breath here, breathe into your hips, breathe into your front body. And slowly make a big circle with the left hand. Inhale, both arms go up to the sky. Good. Exhale, place your left hand down onto the ground. Reach your right hand to the back of your space. Okay, then maybe bend your left knee, grab hold onto the left foot for this round. We are still pulling. So pull the left heel towards your glutes. Roll the right shoulder back. Okay, same options. You can stay here or come down onto your left elbow. Use your left hand to grab hold onto your right ankle. Keep rolling the right shoulder back. Feel the stretch in the front of your left thigh. Keep using your right hand to pull for three. Breathe in and out through your nose. Don't forget to breathe. Your breath is super important. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly lower the left foot down. Place your right palm down, left palm down. Tuck the back toe. Step forward. Come to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Relax your neck. Hang your head. Maybe the forehead can go closer towards your shins. Halfway lift. Inhale. Flat back. Chest forward. Shoulders back. Exhale. Full forward fold. Relax your neck. Root down into your feet. Inhale. Rise all the way up. Reach your arms up to the sky. Lift your chest. Maybe push your hips forward a little bit more. Look up. Exhale. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a slow exhalation out. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Lift your chest. Look up, lean back. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands all the way down. Dive down. Exhale, empty up the lungs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. So breathe really deep and breathe really strong. Exhale, step the left leg, big step back. Slowly lower the left knee down onto the ground. Keep the back toes tucked. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Okay, we repeat the same thing on this side. Press down through the front foot so your legs are strong. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms, squeeze your shoulder blades in. See if this round feels a bit different. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms, lean back, push down into your front foot. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. One final round. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms, squeeze your shoulder blades, stay here for three. Feel the stretch in the front of your left thigh. Breathe for two and the left hip flexes. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, place your left hand down onto the ground, reach your right hand to the back. Okay, as promised, this time we kick the foot. Maybe bend your left knee more, grab hold onto your ankle. Then use your left foot to kick, use your left leg to kick. Okay, keep kicking until you cannot kick anymore. Then maybe allow the right foot to roll out. So peel the inner edges of your right foot off the ground, roll onto the outer edges of the right foot. Feel the stretch in the right shoulder. Also for this round, we focus more on the front body stretch. If you feel the stretch in the right shoulder, the chest, allow the right knee to point out so you feel the stretch in the hips as well. And just one more inhale. See if you can go lower on your exhale. Good. Inhale, slowly lift your hips. It take your time to come out. It's quite intense. Lower the left foot down. Plant the palms down onto the ground. Tuck the back toes, back knee off the ground. Step straight back, high plank. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down onto the ground. Wrap the elbows in, point the toes. Slide forward, inhale, cobra. Lift the chest, come up as high as you like to, but you shouldn't be feeling too much in your lower back, more in your upper back. Okay, lift the chest, look up. Lift the hips, downward facing dog, exhale. Heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And long exhalation out. Bring your feet together, heels and toes touch. Root down into your heels. Float the left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Straighten up the left knee. Lift the left foot as high as you can. Okay, again, try to press the right heel down towards the ground so you really get that stretch in the back of your right leg, in your right hamstrings. Then try to lift the left leg up even more so you get more stretch in your hamstrings. Take one more deep inhale through your nose. 
And exhale, pull your left knee into your chest. Shift your shoulders forward. Round the spine. Come up high onto your right tippy toes. Push down into your hands. Look in between your palms. Step the left foot in between your hands. Good. And slowly lower the right knee down onto the ground. Sink your hips down. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Lift the chest. Push your right hip forward, left hip back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. This time we open to the right side. Exhale, twist. Reach your left arm forward, right arm back. Continue making a big circle with the right hand. Reach your right arm up to the sky, untwist. Inhale, both arms goes up. Exhale, open up the arms, twist towards the right side. Look over the right shoulder. Big circle with the right hand. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. One final round. Exhale, twist towards the right side. Open up the arms, sink your hips. Big circle with the right hand. Inhale, reach both arms up. Nice, well done. Exhale, right hand down onto the ground. Reach your left arm towards the back of your your space. Okay, so you either stay here or bend your back knee, grab hold onto the back foot. Okay, kick the left foot as far, the right foot as far back as you can. Open up the front body. So you really should feel the stretch in the front of the uh, right shoulder. Okay, and also maybe the chest. Keep kicking the right foot as far back as you can. Okay, maybe peel the inner edges of the left foot off the ground. So you roll onto the outer edges so you get the more stretch in your hips. You keep sinking your hips down. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. Okay, again, don't forget your breath. Just take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lift the hips, lower the left foot down onto the ground. Place both palms down onto the mat, lift the hips, step forward, come to the front, forward fold. Exhale, I'm already sweating, hope you are sweating too. Relax your neck, hang your hip, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, chest forward, shoulders back and down. Exhale, full forward fold, relax your neck, stretch out the hamstrings, root down into your feet, inhale, rise all the way up. Reach your arms up to the sky, lift your chest, palms to the touch, exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a deep inhale through your nose, and slow exhalation out. Separate the feet about mid distance apart, so you should be slightly wider than your hips. And turn your toes out 45 degrees. We're just going to go for one last stretch before we take a break. Okay, bend your knees and sink your hips all the way down. And not all of us will have the heels on the ground. So if your heels are lifted off the ground, that's fine. You can step on uh, something sturdy like a shoe box or anything that's uh, like a, or a yoga block, anything that's sturdy, you can step on it and support your heels. Otherwise, try to press the heels as close to the ground as you can. If you don't have props with you, hands down onto the ground, that's okay as well. Okay, hands to your heart center, push your arms against your knees, lift the chest. And then once you're ready, let's go for a twist. Slide the right arm down your right knee, place your right hand down onto the ground, left arm up to the sky. You can either stay here if this feels like it's enough for you today, or you can go for a half bind. Turn the left palm away from you, then wrap the left arm behind your lower back. And try to tuck the left fingers to the inside of your right thigh. And then once you're here, maybe you can go for a full bind. Wrap the right arm around your right shin. I'm just going to turn a little bit more so you can see. Right arm goes around your right shin and see if you can grab hold onto your fingers. Or if you can, use your right hand to hold the left wrist. So you're holding like this and pull. Okay, right hand hold the left wrist, roll the left shoulder back, look over the left shoulder. Be mindful not to drop the left knee in, so pull the left knee out as well. Okay, keep rolling the left shoulder back. Let's just take one more breath together. Deep inhale and slow exhale. Slowly release your hands, bring your hands back to your heart centre. Just take one breath, deep inhale, and slow exhale. Let's rest the hips for a moment. Place your fingertips down, lift the hips, turn your toes either forward or even inwards to close the hips. And come into a forward fold. You don't need to straighten up the legs, but just go as, uh, just lift the hips as high as you can. Okay, turn your toes out again. Let's go back to the squat. Bend your knees. Just one more side. Okay, hands your heart centre to start. Then slide the left arm down. Left palm comes down onto the ground. Right arm up to the sky. I have done this so many times during circuit breaker. It really opens up the hips. And wrap the right arm behind your lower back. Okay, again, you can tuck the fingers in 
or you can go for a full bind. Turn your left palm away from you first. Make a big circle around your shin. And maybe you can grab hold onto your fingers. Maybe you can use your left hand to hold the right wrist. Then once you're here, don't collapse the chest. Twist. Roll the right shoulder back. Open up the front body. Look up towards the sky. Hey, if you just woke up, I feel you feel more awake. I hope you feel more awake now. I do. Okay, allow the right shoulder to roll open. And one of the best things to do in the morning is drink coffee and do yoga. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release your hands, face your fingertips down, lift the hips forward, fold, relax your neck, hang your head. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway lift. Let's take a little break. Step the left knee back, right knee back. You can take child's pose or any other resting position of your choice. I will see you in one minute. Hey guys, welcome back. So we are going to come to the front of the mat from wherever you are. Separate the feet about hip distance apart. Root down into your feet. Make sure your feet are parallel to each other so they are pointing directly forward. Okay, transfer your weight to your right foot. Bend your left knee and use your left hand to just grab hold onto the foot. Okay, you can stay here. Try to make sure that your knees are touching. So your knees should be together like this. Try not to open up the knees too wide. You can either stay here, place your right hand on the right hip, or you can reach your right arm up to the sky. Okay, if you want a little bit more, turn your left palm up towards the sky and just grab hold onto the inside edges of the left foot. And maybe this feels okay and enough for you this morning. But if you want a little bit more, you can kick your left foot against your left hand. Make sure you can balance. So anytime you lose your balance, pause, find your balance again, and then you kick a bit more. Okay, lift the chest, lift the chin. If you can go deeper, go ahead and kick a little bit more. Use your back muscles to help you to lift the chest okay of course if you can go even deeper lean forward kick the left foot up towards the sky don't open up the left knee roll the left hip down roll the left knee down and keep lifting the chest focus your gaze at one point in front of you you don't need to look at your screen you don't need to look at me just focus your gaze okay focus on your balance keep rolling the left hip down for three breathe for two, keep your gaze steady and inhale, slowly come back up. Don't drop the knee. Slowly pull your left knee into your chest and just big step back. Step the left foot to the back of your mat. Okay, so your feet should be super wide. Turn your right toes to point forward, left toes point in. Bend your right knee 90 degrees, reach your arms to the sides, warrior two. And check that you're not leaning your shoulders forward. Keep your shoulders right above your hips. Squeeze your glutes, open up the hips, reach your arms to the sides, gaze towards the right thumb. Okay, sink your hips down, focus your eyes at one point. Pull the right knee out so your right knee doesn't collapse in. Take just one more breath. Deep inhale. And slow exhale, root down into your feet. Okay, take a deep inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, place your right elbow on the right thigh. Then reach your left arm up to the sky. If you can, reach your left arm over your head so your bicep is over your ear. Check that you are not collapsing the left shoulder. Pull the left shoulder back, push the right shoulder forward so you open up the front body. If your neck feels okay, look up towards the sky. Otherwise, just look in front, that is okay as well. Okay, you can either stay here or wrap the left arm behind 
bind your lower back into a half bind. And remember the half bind that we did? Same thing, just in a different leg position. If your left arm goes behind you, you can find your right inner thigh. But if you want to go deeper, you can try this with me. Lower the left shoulder down, then wrap the right arm around your right thigh and see if you can grab onto the fingers. A lot of us will get stuck here, but see if you can push the hips forward and lean the shoulders back more. Okay, good. Lift your torso away from your right thigh. Roll the left shoulder back. Look up towards the ceiling for three. I know it's hard, but try to stay there. Breathe for two. Good. Slowly release your hands. Inhale. Come back up, warrior two. Try your best not to straighten up the front knee. Flip the front palm. Reach your right hand forward. Exhale. Reverse your warrior. If your right leg is shaking, that's okay. That's when you really get really strong. Okay, squeeze your thighs. Reach your right arm all the way up and over your head. You can either stay here or take a half bind with your left hand as well. Left arm wrap behind your lower back and try to find your right inner thigh. Breathe for three. Maybe look up. Breathe for two. My legs are shaking as well. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale, slowly come back up, release your arms, straighten up both knees. Inch the left foot one step forward, hinges one step. Right toes still pointing forward, push your hips towards the back of your space, reach your right hand as far forward as you can, create more space in the right side body. And once you cannot reach anymore, place your right fingertips down onto your shin, then maybe reach your left arm up to the sky. If the left shoulder doesn't feel good doing this, left hand on the left hip. It's okay as well. Okay, roll the left hip open so your hips are open, your hips are pointing to facing the side. Maybe stay here or reach your top arm up and over your ear. Okay, if for any reason you get stuck, you can make a big circle with the left hand. So reach your left hand to the back of your space, in front of your torso, and towards the front of your mat. And for those of us who feel pretty open in the hamstrings today, you can slide the right fingertips down to the ground. But make sure you're not collapsing your chest. Okay, still roll the left shoulder back, keep the hips open, front body open, gaze up towards the ceiling for three, breathe for two, or if you're in your balcony, gaze up to the clouds. It's not raining today. One more breath, inhale. Good. Exhale, slowly lower the left hand down onto the ground. Bend your right knee. Plant both palms down onto the ground. Lift the back and heel off the ground. Slowly lower the left knee down. Keep the back toes tucked. Okay, watch this. Spin the left foot towards the left side. So pivot on your back knee. Step behind you. Step the right foot to the back of your mat. And then once you're here, straighten up the right leg. Push the hips forward. And reach your right arm up and over your head. So you should be in a modified side plank position. Then from here, push your hips forward, lean back as if you're going to wild thing, lift the chest, drop the head back, gaze towards the right thumb. Okay, I can see you here. Lift the chest, reach as far back as you can for three. Breathe for two. Good, inhale, slowly come back down, lower both palms down onto the ground. Good, plant the palms down, step back, downward facing dog. Take a breath, deep inhale through your nose and slow exhalation out. Inhale, roll forward, high plank, shoulders right above your wrists, heels above your toes. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, arch the back. Exhale, bend the elbows, wrap the elbows in, chin down onto the ground. Point the toes back, slide forward, inhale, cobra. Lift the chest, draw the shoulders back and down, maybe look up towards the sky. Lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Exhale, heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose and long exhalation out. Good. Inhale, lift your heels high. Bend your knees, look in between your palms. You can either take two big steps or as many small steps as you like. Come to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. Chest forward, shoulders back and down. Exhale, full forward fold. Maybe you can go deeper into the stretch. Root down into your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach your arms up to the sky. Maybe lean back, go for a little back bend. Look up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Nicely done. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And long exhalation out. Control your breath. This time we repeat on the other side. Transfer your weight to your left foot. Pull your right knee to your chest. 
Okay, then we do the quad stretch on this side. Bring both knees together to touch. Use your right hand to grab hold onto the outside edges of the right foot. Then squeeze your knees in towards each other. Both knees should be touching or as close to touching as you can. Okay, you can either stay here or you can reach your left arm up to the sky if your balance feels okay. If you want to go deeper, turn the right palm up towards the sky and grab hold onto the inside of your right foot. Squeeze your knees in, lift the chest. Okay, so your balance and your ease of mind is more more important than how deep your back bend goes. Okay, so prioritize your balance and your ease of mind. Bring your knees together, lift the chest. Of course, if you want to go deeper, you can kick your right foot together with me. Lift the chest, roll the right hip down, so square your hips, try not to open up the hips, try not to open up the right knee. Lift the chest, maybe slide the right hand down lower, keep kicking the right foot up towards the sky, dancer pose, grip the mat with your left toes, focus your gaze at one point for three, Breathe for two, breathe in and out through your nose, and one. Inhale, slowly come back up, don't drop the foot, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Okay, if you're wobbling, that's okay. okay. Flex the right foot, just step the right leg, big step back to the back of your mat. Okay, again, separate the feet a lot. Bend your left knee, reach your arms to the sides, gaze towards the left arm. Squeeze your glutes, lift the chest, shoulders above your hips, root down into your back foot. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, left forearm on the left thigh. Lean forward, reach your right arm up and over your ear, side angle pose. Check that you're not collapsing the left shoulder. Press the left shoulder away from your ear and reach your right arm up and over your head. You breathe into the right side body, roll the right shoulder back a little bit more. And then maybe you can stay here or you can go for a half bind. Wrap the right arm behind you. Use your right fingers to find your left inner thigh. Okay, if you want to go deeper, follow me. Roll the right shoulder down, chest face the ground. Then just thread the left arm underneath you, okay? Don't think too much, just grab hold of your fingers. Or you can use the bottom hand to hold the top wrist. Push, push your hips forward. Lean your shoulders back. Open up the front body as much as you can. Maybe look up towards the sky for three. Try not to collapse the left side body. Breathe for two. Make sure there's a space between your left thigh and your left torso. Then slowly release your hands. Inhale, come back, warrior two. Resist the urge of straightening up the front leg. Keep the front knee bent. Okay, flip the front palm, reach forward, exhale. Reverse your warrior. Slide the right hand down, lift the chest. If you feel uncomfortable, that's okay as long as there's no pain. If discomfort is where you start to get stronger, try to walk your right hand down more. You can either stay here or wrap the right hand behind you and use your right hand to find your left inner thigh. Keep reaching the left arm back. Lift the chest, open up the front body. One more breath, inhale. And slow exhale. Good, inhale, slowly come back to the center. Finally, straighten up the front knee. Okay, take a small step forward with the back foot. Squeeze the thighs, find your balance. Push your hips towards the back of your space. Reach your left hand as far forward as you can. Once you cannot reach anymore, then you gently lower the left hand down. Doesn't matter how low you go, what's more important is how good your alignment is. Okay, so left hand can stay on your shin, right arm goes up to the sky. And if you can go a little bit deeper in the shoulders, you want to stretch your shoulders more, reach your right hand up and over your head towards the front of your space. Keep the chest open. And maybe for those of us who did it on the first side, maybe see if you can lower the left hand down on this side. Sometimes the left side feels different from the right and that's perfectly fine. So if this side you can go lower, see how low you can go. If this side you find that oh you get stuck at some at, uh, at a different place, just honor that and just work with what you have today. Okay, just one more inhale. Okay, on your next exhale, lower the right hand down onto the ground, bend your left knee, lift the right heel off the ground, plant the palms down, step straight back, high plank. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Oops, sorry, I forgot the twist. Lower the back knee down onto the ground, step the left foot forward again. Pivot on the back knee, spin the back foot behind you, and step the left leg all the way back. Okay, spread the fingers. Lean forward, reach your left arm up and over your hip. You need to get one more cup of coffee today. You keep lifting up the hips. You remember what we did on the first side? We do the same thing. Okay, push your hips forward. Lift the chest, lean back. How many cups of coffee do you drink? Lift the chest. How much coffee can you drink in a day? Keep lifting up the chest. Keep reaching the left arm towards the front of your space. 
Squeeze your glutes. Breathe for three. Breathe for two. Good. Exhale, slowly lower the left hand down onto the ground and step both feet back, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose and long exhalation out. Good. Inhale, lean forward, high plank, shoulders above your wrists, squeeze your thighs, then slowly lower your knees, chest and chin down onto the ground. So stretch your upper back. I know some of you have chaturanga in your practice, but for today, let's stretch, really stretch out the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Point the toes back, slide forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Maybe this time, we can go deeper into the back bend. So if you want to try upward facing dog, straighten up your legs, lift the knees and thighs off the ground. Then squeeze your shoulder blades in. Hopefully, by now you feel a little bit more warm and a little more open. Lift the chest, look up towards the sky. Lift your hips up, downward facing dog, exhale, heels towards the ground. Take a deep inhale through your nose and slow exhalation out. Inhale, lift your heels high and slowly let's lower the knees down onto the ground. Okay, walk your hands towards your knees and come into a kneeling position, lift the hips up. Place your hands behind your lower back. Fingers point down towards the ground so you support your lower back. Wrap the elbows in, push your hips forward and lean back, lift the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades in as much as you can. Okay, some of us will stay here if this feels quite intense for you. If you feel pretty comfortable here, you can try lowering down the elbows or the hands. Lower the left hand down onto your left ankle, maybe the right hand down onto your right ankle. Okay, but make sure you're not collapsing back into your hands. Okay, so as little weight in your hands as you can. Of course, if you can go deeper, you can point the toes back and touch the ankles. Lift the chest only if your neck feels okay, then we drop the head back. Otherwise, just look forward. Hold here for three. Keep pushing your hips forward for two. Your hips should be above your knees. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly place your hands on your lower back and come back up. Good, place your hands down onto the ground. Sit to one side and slowly sit all the way down onto your mat. Okay, straighten up both legs. Let's go for a twist. Bend your right knee. Cross your right foot over the left knee. Okay, either stay here with the left leg straight or you can bend your left knee as well. Okay, but make sure that you are not sitting on your heel. Shift out and make sure you're sitting on, you're not sitting on the heel, you're sitting directly on the mat. Okay, press the right foot down, lift the chest, inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right side, hook the left elbow outside of the right thigh. Bring your right hand behind you at your lower back, push down into your right hand, lift the chest. Then see how far you can twist. Okay, make sure your spine is straight, so try to lift away from the lower back. Lift away from the hips, roll the right shoulder back. If you're feeling pretty open already, you can use your left hand to grab hold onto your bottom knee. Or if you have a bind in your practice, you can try this. Thread the left arm underneath your left knee, the right knee, and see if you can grab hold onto the fingers. Roll the right shoulder back since we are on a bind today. Keep lifting up the chest. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, slowly release your hands, untwist, just change sides. Okay, let's not complicate life and just change the other way. Okay, left leg on top, right leg below. Okay, left foot comes down onto the ground. You can also straighten up the right knee if you like. Otherwise, you can bend your right knee together with me. Okay, root down into your left foot. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the left side. Okay, bring your left hand behind you and maybe look over the left shoulder, twist. And maybe your back will crack. <laughs> Every time I do this, my back cracks. Use your right arm to push against your right knee, the left knee. And sometimes you forget which side to twist, so just remember you always twist to the front leg side, okay? unless you want to do an open twist. So, but otherwise, most of the time, we twist towards the front leg, okay, the top leg. Roll the left shoulder back, lift the chest. Take just one more nice, calm breath, inhale. And exhale, slowly come back to the center. Okay, uncross your legs, let's lie down on the back. And we will do one back bend. 
Okay, wheel pose. We'll try to do wheel pose. I know not all of us have done wheel pose before, but today we'll try. Okay, just watch me first. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. We have a few options. First option, just lift the hips like this. Okay, second option, press down into your hands, drop the head and place the top of your head down onto the ground. Third option, squeeze your thighs, straighten your arms, push your chest all the way back. Okay, then to come out, slowly lower the head. Tuck the chin to the chest, lower all the way down. Okay, so I have three options for you. Take the option that feels the best for you. If you need to rewatch that, go ahead and rewatch that. Otherwise, let's move into bridge, uh, into wheel pose. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Wrap the elbows in, point the toes forward. Press down into your feet, strong legs. Inhale, lift the hips. Okay, it's not just about the arms, it's about the legs as well. Push into your hands, maybe top of the head down onto the ground. Okay, wrap the elbows in. If you feel okay here, press into your hands, straighten the arms. Otherwise, just stay in whichever version that you feel the most comfortable. Okay, press down into your feet. Use more of your legs than your arms. Press down into your big toes. Push down into your hands. Three. Relax your breath. Breathe for two. And slowly with control, top of the head down. Chin to chest. Lower yourselves all the way down onto the ground. Nicely done. And bring your knees to your chest. Reach your arms to the sides. And drop your knees to the right side. Twist. Use your right hand to guide your knees down to the ground. Draw the left shoulder down. Turn your face over to the left side if that feels okay. And maybe close your eyes. Okay, slow your breath down. Take just one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly come back to the center, switch sides. Drop your knees to the left. Use your left hand to guide your knees down. Reach your right hand towards the right side. Draw the right shoulder down. Focus on your breath. How am I breathing right now? Can you send your breath down to your belly? Let's take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. Hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Maybe rock yourself from side to side, side to side. Thank yourself for all the hard work that you put in this morning. And slowly pause in the center. Straighten up your legs to the front of your mat. Allow your toes to fall to the sides. Release your arms alongside your body. If you have more space, feel free to take up as much space as you like. Allow your eyes to close. Soften your skin. Let go of any tension that you're holding on to whether it is in your body or in your mind. Just for the next one minute or so, allow yourselves to completely rest. Please feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you like to. Anytime you're ready to come out, just slowly bring yourself up. Thank you for sharing your morning practice with me. My name is Vera. I'm from Yoga Movement. And I look forward to seeing you on the mat again. Have a great day again. Bye-bye.